Welcome back to another Construct video and in this video we're looking at voice recognition. Let's get started. So I want to play around with some of the more niche sides of Construct and I decided to look at speech recognition. So this is really really simple to set up. What I've got is a text box and I've imported the speech recognition object and a keyboard. I should also point out that this code was from Callum in the night. It was on the Construct forum and it was a really really helpful start so thank you very much. If we look at the event sheet there isn't a lot going on here. So first of all we've got on our pressed. This is going to request that we start our speech recognition. So in terms of the options, this is just here. You can see that you can also set the language. I don't know what languages are supported, so that's something you might want to find out. And if the mode is continuous or a single phrase. So do you want to keep going until you stop or do you want to wait until a single phrase has been spoken? Results, we've got final or interim. So can you get the results part way through or just the final results? Actually, final results work perfectly fine, so I'd keep it as that. We also need a way to stop the speech recognition, so S pressed, stop speech recognition. And then once you've stopped it, you can do on speech recognition results. So once you've got a result, just set the text, and that is it. The only other thing that's been added in this code is when it's recognizing you speaking, it turns the screen gray just as a nice little symbol. So if we test this, what I'm going to do is press the R key to start recording. And the moment I start recording, it starts recognizing my voice. It's going to turn the screen gray. Nothing's going to happen at the moment until we press the S key to stop. And then it all comes on the screen. Now you notice there are some mistakes with this. It is not perfect by any means. So do not rely on this to write a story unless you want a very inaccurate, quite funny story. In terms of use for this, it is very, very niche. So I've been struggling to find a use for it, but I have found one that is fun, if anything else. So this is a really, really simple example. And let's show you what it does first, and then let's look at the code. Left. Jump. Jump. Right. Left. Right. Jump. Jump. This is a really, really simple game, and it just means that we can now actually control a game with just our voice. Now, this is a really simple example, but this could be quite easily taken to an example where it is a full-on game that you have to control and you have to tell the player to jump at the right times. You don't even have to actually make it so you move left and right. You can have it where the player just has to jump at the right time. Now this has its issues, as you can see, one, it's trying to read my voice at the moment, it's not picking up any of the commands, which is quite good. But if I do say left, right, it didn't pick up the initial left, there is a bit of delay. So you do need to be very clear, you do need to not say anything after. So left, left, right, jump. So even a simple thing like adding the word so before you say the word, so left, it doesn't work it out. So left. So there are some issues that are still there with this. So again, it's not a perfect tool, but as a first introduction into speech recognition, it's not bad. So how did I get this one to work? It's slightly different compared to our last one. Well, on start of layout, I've requested the speech recognition so this happens straight away. Once I get a result, I set the text to the final transcript. So this is recognizing that something has been picked up. And once we get the text, we then request the speech recognition again. So it starts over again, it starts checking for your voice. If there's an error, we do the same thing. We set the text to the final transcript and request the speech recognition. That way, if you say some nonsense or it doesn't pick up something, it just keeps checking it again. So this is essentially just a really simple system that checks, can I hear your voice? If so, I'm going to save it. I'm then going to check it again. Then all we do is just check the text. Is it equal to left, right, or jump? With the case of jump, I only trigger that one once. So you only jump once. If not, it'll just keep hopping forever and ever. But I'll leave both of these projects in the description if you want to try them yourself. And what do you think of speech recognition? Do you think it's something that has a place in your game or do you think it's just a little bit niche? 
Until then, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.